From the same example, let us learn to control our mission axis using a direction of travel option. If you look at this particular example, I'm start creating a slot machining toolpath. Let me go to the settings. Here I am using surface finishing toolpath strategy and my tool axis is vertical. My machine axis control I'm using free as my proposed orientation. Let me calculate the toolpath first. If you look at the simulation of this particular toolpath, so a collision takes place between head and the model. Here, what we can do is, instead of using a free or fixed direction, you can use direction of travel as the tool path is flow around this particular part. So, go to the tool path settings page here. Under machine axis control, change your proposed orientation to direction of travel and make your offset angle as 90 degree with use orientation vectors calculated during simulation checkbox on. This will transfer the NC codes as you are seeing in the simulation. Calculate the tool path with this option. If you look at the simulation, the machine axis is rotating around the path and avoiding those machine and path collision. Let me stop here. Go to the second example of a drilling tool path. Go to the settings page. With my pre-created hole feature, under my machine axis control, put as free. Calculate this particular tool path. Simulate this. As you can see, the first one, it will take a collision between the model. The same option using here, under the machine axis control, with the checkbox on, uh, select your direction of travel as your proposed orientation. Make your offset angle is 90 degree. Calculate the tool path and you can see the simulation where this C axis is rotating around the path and avoiding those collisions.